Kirby, you know, is a player you have seen here quite often. You've seen him many, many times. Now for Selkie, they are going to be running Pyra. I don't have the uh, the images just yet. Man, that character just came out and, uh, you know, unfortunately I have to deal with some other issues. So I will be trying to get an image for that as soon as I possibly can. But you know what I would like to try to do? Okay, well, never mind. They're going to get started. It's going to be our first match I see here in a long, long time. And it is going to be with, the uh, you know, the Pithra or Myra, as any of you all want to say. But before we go ahead and do that... I would still love to very, very much welcome our commentators here for today. We got ourselves Jockey Lou and Pika, and they're going to be getting it started here. Welcome them and show them a lot of love. All right, go ahead, homies. You guys are live. Oh, no. You guys don't hear me? I hear him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> go ahead, homies. Take it away. I just... I don't know how to use OBS Ninja. I'm not hearing just Jockey talk, no, you're just at talk, just all. Talk, you're just talking OBS I'm going to go ahead and yeah. at least try to no, come just talk. match because we can't hear each other at all. <laughs> what? I can no. hear you. Him. What? I can hear him. What? No, not this again. Please, please. I don't want to go through this again. No, no I can hear him. I don't think he can hear nuts. me. I'm going to go nuts, dude. I don't want to go I'm through that honest, again. This is my first time using OBS Ninja, so I'm just kind of confused on how the whole, on how the whole thing works. So... I mean, today's has kind of been flooded with technical difficulties. So, like, you know, it's one more. Really. Yeah, it's like one this. more. Can't hear the other commentator. All right. Uh, well, Jockey, so, take it, take it away for now. In the meantime, can they hear me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're live. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It has been a while since I've been here. About two months, but we're going straight into a match. The new DLC character versus. King K. Rule, also a new character in this game. And we can really see that the game is pretty even. As Pika was saying, we're having some technical difficulties, and I mean, what's another? Sadly, this stream started late. Hopefully you guys were tuning into Cytonics on his run so far. He made oh, there we go. Run. I had to tap you for whatever reason. My bad. Welcome back. Hey, yo. <laughs> technical difficulties, no longer waiting. Yeah, well, Back to the match, we have one person named COVID-19, that's a very interesting name, but I'd like to pay attention to the fact this matchup, I feel like, is probably Mithra favorite? Mithra Pyro favorite? Because, well, we can already see that they can both have a spacing game, but Kero seems to be winning it for now with a quick crown, nearly getting the up air, but missing it with with replacement for up smash, evening up the game again. What do you think, Pika, so far? Uh, I'm honestly the matchup analysis. Uh, I'm unsure about the whole matchup analysis thing because, like I said, Pyra Mithra is such a new character, but I can already guarantee you that this, that this combination is going to be top tier. However, Kirby, I, I can't even see that. Uh, the K rule make ca tag COVID 19. Uh, oh, Kirby MLG Ness. I didn't even see that. Man, I am dumb. Because they would finally get that up smash call out. And currently has a very slight lead at uh, 115, but as we all know, Pyra's kill power is kind of bonkers. Speaking of, yeah, and kill I'm surprised that didn't kill because I remember playing that and I got completely decimated, but I might have been at a higher percent. So yeah, this character is completely fresh. People are still learning the matchup, so I think people might have a better grasp on it on just playing against Sheep with the sword or Ganon with the sword. That's what I've heard some people saying. Like, I mean, and if that up air. Yes, me. It's more akin to like Roy, but faster. But there's a roll read. Finally, able to get the downward angle with F smash, and just barely getting that two second one fifty percent. K Ro is one big boy. And he does not want to die. Yeah, with a two stock game on the first one, nearly taking a second from Selkie. Though Kirby MLG NES, I don't know how to say. It. I feel like there's an easier way to say that. But he did take that first game, and I can see. Selfie rocking the bright blue skin. I don't really know the reference for it. It is very a very vibrant skin though. It is I like it a nice, lot. Yeah. I think yeah, there's only like one bad skin in all honesty for the character. And that would be the one where the ult's kind of flip, and that one's just like Yeah, so that one's just confusing. It's like the one Ice Climber sins that makes uh, that makes Dana and Pub look identical, but we're getting into game two now. No changes, but yeah, the, but yeah, Myra Pith are looking like something from uh. Cause it wasn't one game. It was like year one on Switch, and it was like really big. It was like that kind of Three, cyberpunk two, aesthetic. One, go. I, I'm afraid I don't know. The, I think I. 
I'm thinking of a game, but I can't get like my idea on it. Anyway, we're gonna be going to the other Animal Crossing stage instead of Smash Bros. We're gonna be seeing Town and City. All right. Very close side blast ones. That's gonna give uh, whenever Pyra is out a bit of an advantage because those side blast ones they are very close to killing. But Pyra is arguably best kill move that I've seen so far. That being up, he kills off the top more than the more than the side. So this actually may favor uh, Kirby MOG Ness a bit more. I'm just gonna call you. I'm just gonna call him MOG for now because that's a bit too much of a mouthful. That was a really good foresight, if I'm correct on that. Oh wait, one. you just gave me a sub, Pog. Thank you so much, humility before honor. Inside anyway, this is. grab is gonna time that pretty well so they don't get hit by the crown in return, but I think even if they were holding them, I don't think they were getting hit. Uh, what do you think about the side B so far? Because I think the side B is pretty strong, though I have found that if you have a full shield, you can just shield the whole thing and you can just get out of it completely fine. Indeed, so it does put Mithra at a bit of disadvantage, but if you ask me, not enough disadvantage. I, like I said, I haven't played against a character too much. Wait, was that missed? I get. I, just I assume Selfie right slowed down their mash real quick for a second just to mix that up, which I think Excellent. is a pretty smart thing. Not you don't see many people mix up the mashing. Excellent. Yeah, that was excellent game from himself. I actually believe uh, Smash Galaxy 19. I was commentating for Selfie, a Lucario, uh, no, a Palutena, and I was going mainly solo Lucario through bracket. And I believe I did mention the thing about mashing timing during streams, so who knows? He might, Selkie might have taken my advice. I'm just a commentator. You never know, right? True, and I think that up B is very versatile in scenarios where we just saw that the projectile was blocked. Like right there, it keeps getting blocked by these platforms, but if you use the alternate version where it shows a spread shot, you might be hitting your opponent more. Unless you're directly under the platform, then of course you're missing. Yeah, as we're seeing, Selkie is going this new DLC character. So currently, like, the, the character's been out for less than a week, so everyone's going to be not as experienced. No one knows the matchup, really. I mean, all you can really do is just play against a faster Roy whenever, uh, whenever Mithra's out, and then just... Wait, no, just another more powerful Roy whenever, uh, Pyra's out there. It really is just, yeah, like... just give him turbo mode real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Makes up for it. Seriously, Mithra's frame data is almost demonic just looking at it. It is so unbelievably scary, because it just... Like, I believe Mithra's forwarder, it's, like, it frame traps off of anything. They air dodge away, you have enough air momentum, you have enough range to just catch it kind of for free. It's a bit annoying, but like I said, you can never, you can never go and uh, disappoint, you're always just as a character. Now, oh no, the SD! Yeah. I was expecting to see him uh, switching to Pyro, he was going to be able to spike that, because that sword is massive, and that spike hitbox may be so easy to hit, maybe even becoming one of the easiest in the game. Maybe so, but... Currently at full suck down, uh, MLG needs to make this comeback. There's up, they're gonna send up to 76. Any landing punish? Oh, bit of a landing punish there, but to get forward, they're landing into the crown. Another crown there. Miss death stack, and that's gonna be punished by side B. Soki really likes their side B. Of course, it's an amazing move. You never know where you're gonna end out most of the time, but I'm sure Kirby might be able to adapt to it, though they are, they have been shielding it pretty much the whole time, barely getting caught by it, but Thing they is, do at manage that... to get caught by it every time. Thing is, looking at what Selkie did there, uh, he went to, the, to his shield, double jumped, and immediately air dodge. I think Selkie was going for like a footstool thing, because can you, man, can you footstool through shields? There are, is a lot of side B. I have no clue what to feel about anything right now. I mean, it's a great projectile. It just kind of stays out there. It, it, it's spin to win, but you ain't spin it. Well, oh, it's not only just Selkie using it. there. <laughs> yes, it did. But it's not only Selkie using their side B a lot. I think Kirby also realized that their crown is really good, especially for the fact that they have super armor. That was a very well done pair. Yeah. Uh, K. Rool Satsuki has super armor, and right there, you can see it oh! through Selkie's side B. Excellent example of it live in time. Man. Oh, Albert, yeah, hang on, we can this see come Kirby back, Town and City. I mean, uh, Smash, yeah, Town and City get, get to prevent uh, Selkie from dying any earlier there. That, if this stage wasn't Town and City, Kirby MLG would have won right there, but just barely. That is oh! game. Doesn't even matter. You gotta remember, Pyra Mithra's main weakness is their very poor recovery. So you get them off stage, you are good. They have the same weakness as basically, like, every other, like, rush down with range in the game. Like, we've seen them, Marth, they're... Their their problems are like if they are off stage without a double enough, they're kind of dead. But these characters are just more amplified. So, though I think you they can absolutely mix you up with their recovery, where you can be off stage with Pyra and then you can switch over to Mithra as someone's attacking you, like we saw him trying to attack with Mare. He can swap real quick and then catch you with the pickup hitbox. 
because it is very, very fast frame data and very good frame data at that. Sorry about that, my water bottle is insanely noisy, so if you hear if you hear a dolphin mating throughout the stream, that is me. <laughs> Hi, I'm the dolphin. Uh, yeah, Kirby MLG Ness is gonna take that game is gonna take that set 2-0 with kind of a highway robbery on that last game, because Selkie with Out of Thought was winning that. And then just kind of <laughs> and then Kirby MLG Ness just kind of said, hey, what if you did it? And lo and behold, he didn't. It was with that kind of robbed. I mean, it wasn't necessarily robbed, but more like a really solid combat. Getting him off stage, getting that gimp, and just taking adva taking advantage of the extremely exploitative recovery that Myra Pithra that Myra that Mithra has. I don't know what to call them because I don't want to say two words per time I mention the character. So is like, there's like a name I can give them? I wouldn't know any. Why, why don't we just call them the Sword Fighters? Jigglypuff the, the second and third sword fighter of Xenoblade. It's I am very surprised. Many people did not think they were going to go a chic Zelda melee route with how these characters are, but they did, and they made it very well done. Like players like Larry Lur and M2K, they're saying this character is probably the best in the game. Well, any in commentators lounge is saying uh, together they're called Aegis. And then the ship names are Myran and Pythra. I think I'm just going to go Pythra because it, it just sounds better. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah, I wonder who's next up and why. Next up is going to be Echo Fire versus Johnny. Echo Fire has kind of been all over Twitter recently due to someone deciding to say, hey, you're one of these saying that's not valid. To that I say, this is why I hate people. So, someone could just look at someone else's achievement and say, hey, that's not valid because of this one thing. Echo Fire, if you're hearing this, you're an amazing player. You deserve every single bit of that. Like, some people are just terrible people, like completely. Well, ignoring a bit of what is drama, like sorry if that was rude, but oh, no, Johnny fine. is also an excellent player. They have excellent fundamentals, though they are known for their Crom and Roy. Of every so often, throwing out newer characters. Uh, I might we might be seeing them play Mithra and Pyra. Ooh. We might so because once the new DLC characters come on, Elite Smash is unplayable for the next week and a half. I was on yesterday. I did play a very good Captain 